Hey y'all, this is my truck and I'm gonna take you on a quick tour of the inside um, and just show you what all is in Big Blue. The bed that I have, it's a cot. And the cot, what I do love about this is, um, this cot only has, has the two like support legs, like a support bar there and a support bar, bar oh, excuse me, a support bar up front. And what's great about that is um, that I have room where my wheel well is. I know the lighting's not very good. It's, the sun is starting to go down. Where the wheel well is, um, I don't have to worry about anything. So, and it sits pretty high so I can put things up under it. Um, but the biggest thing was to try to find one of where that the wheel well, if you have three bars or anything else, it's gonna have to then sit out. So I wanted something that was flush to the wall. So that's what I have. Now, I have this other system that I will probably go through, the Husky system. Um, you can see it right there. I'll just kind of show you. This is the one that I have for it in the back. And I'm not gonna go through everything. Maybe I'll do another tour if you want to. If you wanna see like what's in all the systems, I'll do that but this just has a lot of the actual camping gear so just extra stuff okay mallet duct tape things like that so like i said if you if you want me to do a video on that just let me know so that sits right back here now for this I just have, this is a, just a little um, kind of vinyl mat that I keep rolled up and then I just sit it right here. But then I can pull this out when I actually fix food. So I just have here, I just have my hammocks that sit here in case that I'm pulling in somewhere else and, and want to take those out. A trash can. I have a little stereo system. This is pretty cool because you can open it up and put your things inside, but it's also weatherproof right here i have my kitchen well, i have this light this light is just something i got at harbor freight let me turn it on for you what i love about this is of course it has a magnet in the back so if i am out here and i just want to put it let me see where's a good place to put it right now like right there then it's there if I need light for the outside, okay? Which I normally put other lights out too, and I may show you on this, or I may just cut to another video. A paper towel roll, love it, just on bungee cords. Guys, I love, love, love <laughs> bungee cords and duct tape. Yeah, bungee cords and duct tape. So what I have is this, is my small kitchen. This is the kitchen that I just have everything that if I want to make a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or whatever, it is all right here. I have my jet bowl, I have a, um, an actual mug back there. I have this, which is the bomb, the blend jet. Yes, it is fabulous. So when you see those little commercials and it's whipping everything up, yeah, it is, it's, it's great. So I can do smoothies, do whatever. Have my little jet power pack, a little butane. And then have this. And that just sits right here. So um, I can just get it and just do something really quick um, right out here on my thing. I also have a few things that I like to keep up close and handy to where if I'm in here in the back and I need it. So I have my first aid kit, Clorox, some wipes. So if I need something out here, I can just go in here and grab. I didn't want these to put these in something else because that just makes it harder. These are the, like I said, easy to reach, easy to grab things. Another one of these little lights. I love these little lights. I have these, um, I have these up in the truck. 
There's one right there. Super cute. Um, vinegar. So if I need to watch something, um, like wash out one of these cups, and if I'm not doing an actual big water thing or whatever, then I'll do that. Um, just a candle, Centronella candle. And of course I have, oh, let's see. First, I do have like, let me see that back there. The repel, mosquito stuff and a little mosquito thingamajiggy. Those are pretty good. Um, some gloves and of course, I have, let me go if you can pull that around, okay? So in case of a fire, I am good to go. Here's an extinguisher, okay? And that all, again, just sits really close to the back end because, of course, this is where I'm going to be cooking and stuff anyway, but just in case. All right. I just keep a few bottles of water right here, and what I would normally have right now is I would normally have... Um, a jug of water or um, yeah and I would normally sit it right here and then I just press it and the water comes out um, so that's what I would normally have right there have a little flashlight to just here handy where you can get it and some trash bags um, love this just a cobalt I mean you know every time you get started doing something camping wise you're going to need a straight edge. You're going to need something, some type of a blade to cut something. And so it's great because I just leave it right here and I just keep it snapped on. And that's it. Okay. I did not want, um, I'll explain a little bit. I did not want to have an actual build, build out or whatever in my truck because I want to be able to use it for other things if I need it. Um, I can take things out of here within five minutes, five or 10 minutes, take it all out and put it back all back in in maybe 10, 10 minutes, 10 minutes or 15 minutes. So the things that I have in here, it, right here, I just have, you know, those little crates that you can get like anywhere. Now, I mean, they have these crates, like, just everywhere. Michael's, wherever. I can't remember exactly where I got these. But they're just regular little crates. Just three-tiered crates. I put those in here. And I have two of those. I do not put the wheels on. These just have regular stands. I push them straight against there. And then, let me get up here. Then, I just put... A shelving board on top and as you can see it's a bungee cord okay I have a bungee cord there and I have a bungee cord over here and that just keeps it from going like sliding off but it makes a great surface and what I love about it is again it's over the wheel well so there's plenty of room for things to sit right up here so Here's my Jackery. Um, this is the one that I use for just normal camp camping or whatever. It's the uh, 240. And so, of course, you know, you just plug that in, plug things into that. So that's my power source back here. Um, I have a larger one that I take if it's a bigger trip and I know that I really um, need that. But I would take that and then I would just have it up front. Okay. So... Let me just keep on going. I have these fans. Love these fans. These are just, um, oh, that has a little light in there too. There it goes. Love the fans because, again, I just, I have bungee cords hanging up on, these are the things, I don't know the correct name. These are the things that hook to the top of my truck that has my rails, have all that. So they come through and I wanted these to be put on. I wanted to have these little things because I didn't know if I was going to do like a cargo net or, um, or whatever. But instead I have bungee cords hanging. 
So which means I can hang things like this. And so I have usually, I have these two just out for my normal when I was just summer camping. It's fall now. So about winter. So this though, my dog sleeps up here on the bed with me. And so that way I can do this. I can take it off. I can do whatever I want and have that there. But those are great. And then I have Big Daddy right here, my DeWalt. Okay, I love this. Let me, right now, just, I'll just sit it right here. You can probably feel that it's coming out so hard. But no, you can hear, you can hear, and you can see. So, it goes all the way up. I use, these are the 20 volt um, battery. They last, these are the, let's see, 4 AH 20 volt. I think these last about seven hours. I think so. So I have a couple of them. That way it's there. Biggest thing is um, when it was hot out the summer camping, you don't want to be stranded without extra fans and all that other stuff. So, yeah. I have the big one and then these little ones and then I have a couple of other ones. So, a little overkill, but hey, um, it was great. All right, let's keep going. So, right here, this is the Husky system. And they're individual little things. And again, if you want me to do, um, to go through each one, I can. But I'll just kind of say what I have in them. Um, this one, I just have... A lot of my cords I might go through them just kind of quick this one I have all the cords so telephone cords um, anything I need for my iPad um, there's the extra battery that goes on to my DeWalt fan or any of my DeWalt tools because I keep those in the cab um, like I said you can see um, little chargers and things that go for like my little oh, little drink machine back there it's not necessarily just for drinks. It is great though. Um, but it's also awesome for my smoothies. Okay. So I have that. And then in this one, um, I have just other like batteries. Okay. Y'all, I'm going to go ahead and show this to you. So this bottom one, um, these things come with like Oh, with the bottom one with wheels, and then you can put things, customize them, different things on top. So this, there's a main one that's in my truck, and that houses all my actual cooking, other cooking things. So you saw that my little kitchen over here just has my stuff for like breakfast, you know, for breakfast or for coffee, and then um, the one that's in the truck has all the other you know, a few little pans and stuff. I do a lot of cooking, especially when I'm camping. Yeah, I don't feel like doing all that. So anyway, so you can hook different things on. So this bottom one is a pretty big one. And I keep most of people call it like your pantry. So like there's a, you know, fold up bowl, you know, pops out, that kind of stuff. I keep um, you know, just some different food, things that, um, instant oatmeal, Trader Joe's, instant oatmeal, um, decaf coffee, yeah, I don't do the real stuff, I don't need all that extra caffeine, rice, um, tuna, all that kind of stuff, um, I keep in here. I do that because... I'm gonna make sure that I'm getting in there. All of that stuff. I do, I like to keep this in here because let's say that I'm camping somewhere and it's pouring down rain. Um, I could technically stay in here and do everything as long. I could do even my jet bowl, set it right up here, um, fix them with that as long as I open my windows. I have wind doors, so they open out. 
Um, I could get plenty of ventilation in here. Um, or even if I didn't do that, if I just say that I want a snack or something, because I will keep my big cooler up front, but this just keeps my my main things that can actually stay in here. Okay, so that stays in here. So that's that one. So the one on top of it has like my condiments and stuff. But it has my stevia, um, little ketchup things, peanut butter, and jelly, and all of that other little fun stuff. Packets of things in there. Um, like your little hot mustard things, just any type of condiment to keep some bars in here, some Lara bars, um, tea, all type of tea. These things come out. So you see, I just have different kind of teas in there. Um, these little things that make your water tasty. Um, these are just the little limeade things. And oh, I always just keep an extra knife back here, especially if I need my peanut butter, here's some of the jelly. And stuff like that, a couple of little um, hand wipe things. But again, I've got wipes there and I have wipes over here. So I keep that, that just stays there. And then put these back down. So this one, this houses some of my things that I, you saw, remember I had the other bigger one that was right here under the, at the foot of the bed, but that's mainly for, like I said, if I need to take that out and if I'm doing like tent camping or just putting up, um, I don't know if I need whatever zip ties, I think are in there. There's probably some in here too. Cause I love zip ties too. Um, in here, I just keep other things that I may need. Um, oh, it's more fungy. My batteries. Batteries are in here. Um, little bitty flashlights. You can never have too many flashlights. I have a bunch of magnets. One day I'll do a thing on the outside and it'll show how I do my things to the outside. But I use magnets, of course, because you can hook anything up, up like to the outside of your truck. And what I do is I have quite a few magnets that I've wrapped in just duct tape so that if I need to stick something on the side of my car, side of my truck, big blue, sexy Silverado. What did I said I was gonna call her earlier today? I don't know, I probably had to cut that out. But I was joking instead and saying instead of calling my truck just big blue that I needed to call her like sexy sapphire or something kind of cool. So anyway, if I want to put something on sexy sapphire, um, these are just magnets, but they won't scratch your car, okay? And this is what I have like attached to my lights, my sensor lights um, that I hook up outside. So, yeah, I can't even get the rest of these magnets in there because these are like pushing them through. Um, gorilla glue and Gorilla tape. Uh, little headlight. I've got a couple of them in here. I also usually keep one just outside there so that I can get that as soon as like I get out of the truck if I need something. Um, let's see. Just little baby screws. Another box cutter. Box knife. I told you I had the big one right there. Uh, just some different things. They're front. Whatever. Another little lighter. Um, Catch it. Yeah, you know, you never know when you want some extra firewood or if you need to protect yourself, whatever. All right, that's in here and whatever else. Um, oh, just my little handy dandy Ozark trail. You know, those little gadgets that you can uh, do everything with, like open stuff with and screwdriver and all that. Um, yeah, I keep my knife, knife in here too. So there's just some different stuff that I can keep right up here 
and if I need it, it is here. And then this just sits on the side of that and then it just hooks right in. So that's secure. And then like I said, you already saw my other, this one. Let me show you. Just have, can you see that? See it has my cords and stuff and then just an extra one of these things. Um, extra DeWalt battery and just cords for my different things. Extra bungee cords, extra extension cords, uh, cords. And I definitely need those. So that just keeps those organized. And then that just sits on top of that and clicks into place. And it's great right here because this just sits right in front of the wheel well. Um, and as you can see, I'll try to see if I can angle you down a little bit. Can you see that down there so it does not pop out too far? So it's great. I love it. Okay. I know it's a little dark in here, but oh, and you know, these things are fabulous. These little lights, they just click on, click off, and I put Velcro on them. Velcro. It needs to, it's right up there with the bungee cords and uh, zip ties and all that stuff, duct tape. Especially for this. For a truck like this, I have it all carpeted and <laughs> love Velcro. Love Velcro. You just put it, put it wherever you need it. Wherever you need it. So I'm going to try to probably put it up right over here. It looks like we might need a little light. Okay. So. I just attach my big iPad and lay right in here and watch TV and watch, um, well, watch my movies. And y'all all know that I'm into my big Marvel series and all that stuff until I got sidetracked and started watching Handmaids. Then I couldn't watch anything else. But anyway, I normally watch the Marvel series. Um, I just download my movies, do whatever, and it's here. And it's just one of these little gadget things and it's awesome because then you can just kind of move it wherever and it's not going anywhere. Now over here, this is again, this is the other little three tiered thingamajammy little, just little three tier thing. Like I said, that's everywhere. And there's the other bungee cord that's just hooking this in nice and tight. And I do have it bungeed over here. I think you could probably see that. I'm going to turn this light on just a little more bungee cord right there um, so that it doesn't really move. Ah, I should have that light on on everything else. There's the system. Okay, so in this last little set, I just have right here, um, this is a little thing that shows on here what the actual indoor temperature uh, and what the indoor humidity is. Um, that's the big thing about these is just the humidity you've just really got to kind of watch that because it becomes very humid when you're in here. Another light, like I told you, I just, I mean, I have light everywhere. But that one also does the big one. Um, I like it just because it hangs right here. So if something was going in the middle of the night, I could just click on that and it would be good to go. Um, this is just another little um just a little cooler so the big cooler of course stays in the truck but if i want to put a few things back here in this cooler and that works great um i have a little list like a little thing that just clips up here it's just to do just mainly it's not even to do it's just things not to forget my biggest thing not to forget is my jackery um and my batteries to be charged up for um, the fans. I will have to switch all of this stuff out um, like now. <laughs> um, today's one of the last warm days that we're gonna have. So I'll be putting in uh, my little buddy and that kind of stuff. So moving right on from my little buddy heater is I keep right here. You see that? It's a little carbon monoxide alarm. Yeah, just need to be safe when you have things like this that have the other 
little propane and any of those type of things. Um, you don't want to sleep with all that. You know, like I said, you want to keep good ventilation and everything else. And right there, I'm sure you've seen this. If you're watching my videos, you see my little sign in the back. Oh, man. Here we go, girl. You got this. Girl, you got this. If you're a guy, I'm sorry. If you're a girl, girl, you got this. Okay, let's keep on going. So, down here on the bottom, these are my toilet things. Um, I have little miracle wipes, toilet paper, and if you're wondering, well, why do you have toilet paper back here? I have toilet paper back here because this cute little thing right here, this is my toilet yes it's my toilet it's my legaloo so you're like oh my god don't show me don't show me we don't need to see it yeah you do yes you need to see it okay so i just keep a cute little thing here because what i can do right now is i can sit on this so if i'm in let's say it's raining or if it's cold or i just want to be inside um I could have my iPad just right here, undo it, or my other iPad and type, or my computer. I could sit here and watch, watch my TV. I can sit here and do anything. So this is my chair. I have plenty of leg space. And I have plenty of headroom. So. This is a chair, too, a stool. Okay, but the main thing it is, it is a toilet and it's awesome. It's just, it's one of the little luggaloo things that it's basically, make sure the lighting, you can see it. Um, it's a bucket, it has a lid, and when you take off the lid, that's a toilet seat. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to turn my light back up a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Now you can see it. And no, that's not poop in there. Oh my goodness. That probably scared you to death when you just saw that. Okay. What this is, these are pellets. These are like what you, uh, horse bedding pellets. Uh, what you would use in a horse bed. <laughs> I'm sure that scared y'all to death. You're like, oh no. And so those are pellets. And so if you were to use the restroom in here, that would start soaking that up. Now, let me tell you a huge secret. What I do, I'll turn this light back down a little bit. Uh, no, I won't. I'll just kind of, maybe I'll show you. Well, up under this bag, there are two or three other bags, just like this, that are wrapped up, folded up, and they have that stuff in them. So when i dispose of this and i just take this bag out and just wrap it up and you just throw it away then i just open another one of these bags that's already pre-wrapped yes i pre-wrapped i was pretty smart on that kind of stuff so i have that up you know what i'll need to do a thing in my shed so that you can see that um and i just make some bags already so that way this is ready to go okay so you loved my little tour of my toilet. All right, so let's just pretend that was all back on there and that's really nice and cute. And then I had my cute little plant up there. Okay, let's go now to like my curtains. Okay, my cute little with my name. Of course, those are just little Velcro strips. Um, okay, so of course when I'm traveling, I just, unhook this this is all by velcro and i'll go through that in a minute but i just unhook that pull it back and um and just have that open so that you can see all right let me turn around so that i can really explain these i am not the biggest seamstress at all so these are just the little table things what do you call them table um table runner things and i got them at hobby lobby 
And if you've seen my other videos, I have different ones before, really cute blue ones. So I have those two, they were just, they're table runners. And then all I did was glue on some cute little ribbon. And then I glued a little extra because these table runners were a little short, okay? So table runner, and that's all that is. So right here, of course, Velcro. Velcro is here on the back of my table runner, and then there we go, okay? Now, you're wondering, oh my goodness, now what is all of this? This is one of the screens, you know those like, um, as seen on TV, things that they have when um, they're the screen things, I love those. So anyway, if you get one of those, you can cut them, and it's like the perfect length. So what I did was, they of course, have Velcro. This pretty much stays up there. So this is Velcro, okay? That is Velcro behind that. I put that on there and then I kind of tuck it under. It has a little Velcro and they have little magnet things, but that's Velcro too. So right there, you can hear it. It's just Velcro. That's there because these windows are wind doors. So outside you can open these windows and they open out and they're completely open right here. So I could open the windows and then I have this as my screen. So I don't have to worry about bugs getting in. It's awesome. Yes, so that's what I do. And there you go. For those of you who may not sew and you just want something cute, look for table runner thingamajimmies, tablecloth runners, what y'all know what they're called. Um, Okay, this is another one of my favorite types of lights. This is just a Lucy lamp light. Um, oh yeah, this one, let me turn this light off. This one is the kind that just looks kind of like candlelight or whatever. It's nice and soft, it's pretty cool. I have some other ones too that really are like the candlelight ones. Maybe this one isn't. Um, maybe I was just joking with you. So anyway, you can make it bright, brighter brightest oh that's like if I'm in trouble SOS okay so I like to keep that here I have another one of these little lights that if I was here and I'm laying down and I want to read something or whatever or just whatever it's just right there so you just touch it and that's just awesome I don't want to um, I don't use like this light that is already here in my truck I don't want to do that because I don't want to mess with my battery and end up somehow somewhere stranded because my batteries went out okay then I just have a couple of cute little sayings and of course they're velcroed yep they're velcroed now moving right on this is my little fun stuff back here um, I have, of course, Velcro, so that I don't lose them. A little remote control, and now let's, let me turn you down just a little bit. Most times they will come on at the same time. But look, those are my little um, LED lights. And let's say if I wanted to go red, can you see that? I think you can, but that's kind of fun. So let me get my other one and show you what else is kind of fun. Yep, can y'all see that? I put LED lights under my board. That's what they are. And let me see here. Let me change it, different color. You know, good little tip here. Red is the best color to use at night when you're inside because um, it doesn't really show through. Like people on the outside can't really see the light through like your curtains or whatever. Um, the red light and it is good for your brain because it kind of signifies like nighttime stuff. Whereas blue, although blue is really pretty, on that like wakes your brain up. There you go. Can't say I never told you anything. So 
This is really cool. I love it. And I think you can like make it do different stuff, but of course it's probably not going to do it right now. Oh yeah, there we go. Doing all the different colors. If I really wanted to have my music in here and was really wanting it to go hard and have a party. Um, so these do that too. And these again, Velcro, they're the cute, they're just little lights that are just cute. I mean, you can do them different colors right here. They're just cute, you know? I mean, hey, gotta have a little fun. Gotta have a little fun in your life. So, those are really cool. Especially, I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way a little bit. When you're just, um, like I do, I know y'all saw one of my videos where I was just kind of hanging out and just hanging out on my tailgate because this is like the coolest thing ever when you can do this. And this is your view. Just straight up. And when it's nice and dark and you just have those lights on and you have a little music going and have my little candle going. Oh yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome. So, uh-oh, I hear my boy. And there he is. He's probably going to try to jump up on my head, which he did, of course. Hello, Slake. Yeah, I know. I love you, too. And he's, like, ready to go. No, you can't jump up here. Don't. No, 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 no. No, no, don't jump up. No, no, no. No, you stay off for a little bit. I'll let you back up a little bit. No. And so, normally, I have... When he goes with me, he goes with me all the time. Um, I have a little not even little it's a big um you can tell he wants to go camping he loves to go camping um i have a ramp that i put up and then he climbs up there so i don't want him to jump because i just don't want him to hurt his back he's one of those with short legs and a long body and has already done stuff okay and he's killing my hair all right no slate stay off see that's how bad he wants to go but anyway here's the view of kind of getting to see the lights and stuff on my truck and um oh so what i do is um up under here let me turn this on a little bit i keep a big tub because remember this was the cot so this is really pretty this is really cool just sheets on there now i'll end up doing some flannel sheets i have some flannel sheets i'll change out but this little thing, I'm a jiggy, um, I think came with it. So I just have like some magazines or whatever. And then I have a tub under here. And this tub keeps like my extra gear, like my rain stuff and, you know, things like that. Um, rain boots. And then so I'll switch that out for winter and I'll have some extra like blankets and winter gear and everything else. And then oh man i have this is pretty cool my screen that i put up here on the back of my truck so that it keeps the bugs out when i'm outside so it just hangs down but that's it that is just a um quick tour no telling how my hair is please excuse it i just saw my dog jump up and try to wipe me out but anyway that's it that's the inside of my truck. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and um, I'll try to answer that. And if you wanna see um, anything else, just let me know. I mean, I probably need to do something inside my truck, the other inside, inside my actual cab, uh, because that is where I keep a lot of my other things. But for the most part, like I said, this is a no build um, truck. Anybody can do it. Very easy, very easy setup. Take it all out if you need to use it for anything else. Um, it's a blast and I love it. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Um, and I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. Of course it's free. It just will let you know um, if you do the little bell and stuff it'll let you know when I do a new video and um, subscribing just helps overall you want to like keep up with me right
Right? Yep, and keep up with Slade. Of course you do. All right, until the next one. Have a good one.